In this video, we will talk about index investing and specifically we will talk about a style of index investing which is not so popular at present in India. Generally, when we talk about index investing, we are talking about market capitalization weighted indexes. We are talking about investing in those indices which are market capitalization weighted. Means, suppose we are talking about a Nifty 50 index. In that Nifty 50 index, you will see the weight of Reliance Industries is about 10%. The weight of HDFC Bank is around 9.5%. Out of the 50 constituent stocks of the Nifty 50, 20% weight is carried by these two stocks alone. So for an investor like me, this is what makes index investing less interesting because there is too much concentration on few stocks if i'm investing in an index like nifty 50 which has 50 number stocks i would like to have a comparatively uniform distribution of weight among all those companies that will give me a better portfolio diversification but actually what is happening 20 percent of my money is actually going in reliance industries and hdfc bank i'm not saying that they are bad companies but still from the point of view of diversification majority of my money going into the top five or six companies for an investor like me this is what makes index investing not as interesting as investing in individual stocks if i have to allocate so much of my money in those few stocks rather i will go ahead and buy those stocks directly why to invest through an index there will be some investors who will have this kind of doubt in their mind as well and in this video i will share a way out for investors like me there is another problem for investors like me to invest in a market capitalization weighted indexes the problem is these indexes gives lot of weight to high market cap companies and these market cap companies does not trade at a attractive price valuations if a value investor wants to practice index investing and if he's investing in an index which is market capitalization weighted then indirectly his funds are allocated more to high market cap companies which are invariably expensive stocks so what is the way out how a value investor can practice index investing without investing too much in expensive companies the solution is instead of following a market capitalization weighted index we can follow a fundamentally weighted index so the first question that comes to mind is that does india have a fundamentally weighted index yes it has one of the fundamentally weighted index is nifty 50 value 20 index here what happens there is a basket of nifty 50 stocks from these nifty 50 stocks 20 fundamentally strong stocks are separated out it means out of these 50 stocks those stocks whose fundamentals are strong this index is comprised of those 20 stocks and on what basis the fundamentals are decided the fundamentals are decided based on price to earning ratio price to book value ratio dividend eat and return on capital employed out of the basket of 50 stocks all those stocks which has a comparatively lower price to earning ratio and lower to price to book value ratio will be picked another two parameters which are considered for screening are high dividend yield and high return on capital employed so you can see nifty 50 value 20 index is derived from a nifty 50 index and the concept of building a nifty 50 value 20 index is that all those stocks which are fundamentally stronger within the basket of nifty 50 stocks will be picked for onward investing let me share a data with you that will show how this nifty 50 value 20 index is more beneficial especially for a value investor than a nifty 50 index as of today the nifty 50 index has a price to earning ratio of around 20.7 whereas the nifty 50 value 20 index has a much lower price to earning ratio 
of only 16.8. Secondly, check the Nifty 50 dividend yield. It's around 1.39% and the dividend yield of Nifty 50 value 20 index is 3.16%. So these two parameters highlights that how a Nifty 50 value 20 index gives exposure to much better value stocks than a nifty 50 index so according to me for a value investor who wants to practice index investing and who has a goal to stay invested for a very long time for those investors investing in an index like nifty 50 value 20 index whose weights are decided based on the fundamentals of the individual stocks is much better for investing. For a momentum investor, Nifty 50 index is more suitable. But for a value invest, Nifty 50 value 20 index is a much better bet. I hope you have liked this video. There is something unique that we have shared in this video. If you like, please do consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching.